Venus. Venus influencing moon produces the same result as Jupiter produces with moon, particularly for the night birth. Now, because Venus is a beneficial planet, when Venus is connected to moon, moon gets a beneficial influence. Expecting the moon situated with moon, moon gets a beneficial influence and because moon is mind getting the beneficial influence. The person have good mind, good thought, good mental approach, because of which I believe person can be a good guide, mentor, teacher. Person should explore these qualities of himself and make best use of it. Apart from that, when Venus is with moon, there are dangers to the native right after birth. So accidents, etc. right after birth in young age up to the age of 20 can be there, health problems can be there. The native will generally always remain diseased from one disease or the other. Mental troubles will be there. Water and reptile related accidents are common to native regarding which the native should be careful. Venus in second house from moon, it will make Sunfa Yoga. Sunfa Yoga gives riches name and status. That will be there. And in Sunfa Yoga, as I told you, you do profession related to planet making Sunfa Yoga, you will be very successful. So profession related to Venus, profession in vehicle, music, artistry, home, architecture, woman, fashion, management, etc. will be very good for native. Any planet making Sunfa Yoga second to moon, you consider going in profession related to that planet if you want what does moon indicate riches? If you want riches in life, go in the profession of the planet making Sunfa Yoga. If there is a planet making Sunfa Yoga, then the native is very successful. This Sunfa Yoga point I told in Mercury video. This Sunfa Yoga point I'm telling in Venus video. Other videos I may not have told, but that is the particular reason you should watch every video and see the result of every house, right? Because some point, you know, like the point I don't repeat each and every time. The special points are made at special places. Venus and second house from moon, a native will be very rich, Sunfa Yoga it is making. But native will have diseases, right? Moon close to Venus makes the native diseased generally. Native will be king like, native will enjoy royal status. So moon and Venus, if they are farther away, then it is good. Closer moon Venus, right? Venus in 12th house, second house or with moon generally makes the person diseased. That is the trait of Venus, right? Because Venus and moon are inimical. Venus in third house from moon, it will make a Dhani Yoga. Right? Benefits in Upchaya from moon makes Dhani Yoga. Right? So it will make a Dhani Yoga because of which native will be rich. Affluent. Apart from that, native will follow his dharma. Native will be intelligent. Native will earn money by associating with people lower than him in social standards and in thinking itself. Right. So basically working with lower class of people, person gets his profession, earns money. Native will gain in life, native will be pious and will earn a good amount of wealth. Venus in fourth house from moon, native will have diseases of phlegm and diseases of eyes and eyesight. Native will generally be poor from birth. Later on in old age, it may improve. Native will have a slender physique. Venus in fifth house from moon, native will have many daughters, native will be rich, but native will be without fame. And whenever native tries to get fame, in a state of fame, he gets defamation. So better not to, you know, do stunts for fame if the Venus is in fifth house from moon. Sixth house, seventh house, eighth house from moon, Venus will make a yoga that will give Raj Yoga, native will have name, fame, status, power, authority, native will be king like. Particularly in the sixth house, native will generally, you know, like much resources will not be there. Jupiter, uh, Venus in sixth from moon, much resources will not be there. Native will have to live on what others leave. Right. Native is generally covered, runs away from fights and confrontations. Native, because of reckless and expensive, excessive spending, suddenly becomes fearful of his financial future very often. So expenditure, the native should control, particularly Venus connected to 6th house or 12th house from ascendant also can make the native very spendthrift and because of which very often financial uncertainty will come in the life of the native, which will make the native fearful and worrisome at same point of time. Native is generally defeated in fight, does not, good, does not do well in fights and litigations, should avoid it under all conditions. 
Billions in seven thousand from moon. Adi yoga it will make so Raj Yoga power authority king like status in life will be there. But bodily the native will be weak. The native will be timid and afraid. Though the native will be glorified by people around him, but the reality is that the native is weak, timid, and afraid. Native will be benefactor, and many people will benefit because of the native. Right. So either the person uh, is helping others by himself or is into business etc. Where many people work under him and get benefited. Native is given to carnal pleasure. Is very sensual. If the Venus is well placed, then the native can be valorous and rich as well. Rich, so he will be because the yoga is there. If the Venus is well placed, native can be valorous as well. Venus in eighth house from moon. Once again, the yoga is there. Name, fame, power, status, authority, king like status is there. Apart from that, the native is famous. The native is a great warrior. Native is philanthropist. Native will enjoy in his life. Native donates uh, donates many things. Is a philanthropist. Native is very rich, but is afraid of hard work. Native is not much skilled. Native is doubtful of his every movement and always remains uncertain regarding what is going to happen in future. Venus in ninth house from moon. Native have many friends and siblings who will also come to his help. Venus in tenth house from moon. You should work with uh, plan people indicated by planets in tenth house from moon. So working with a spouse or partner while Venus is in tenth house from moon is very beneficial. Apart from that, benefits in Upchaya from Moon will make a Dhani Yoga, so native will be rich, affluent. Native will be very simple as well. Native will generally speak good of others and will always talk about qualities of others even behind their back. And because of this reason, native will have almost no enemies. Native will also live disease-free. Native will also have much happiness and favors from his parents and native will live long. Venus in 11th house from moon, once again, Dhani Yoga is there. Riches is there in life. Native will have many male and female children, but native will have multiple spouse, multiple sexual partners as well. Native is long lived, generally have good health and no enemies. Without enemies, generally the native is very agreeable and people love him. Venus in 12th house from moon, it will make Kandafa Yoga because of which native will come from a rich family will be famous, will be resourceful, but native will be a cheater and shameless as well. Native will love other men or women apart from their spouse, which makes them have extramarital affairs. The native will be lascivious and unintelligent also. Unintelligent as in native does mistakes, suffers because of it, but does not learn from his mistakes, right? Repeats the same mistakes again. This is what is unintelligent. 